Hey everybody, Bouchard here, back with another video where today I'm going to tell you guys whether or not the iPhone SE is still worth it in 2019. Let's get started. Now back when this iPhone released in March of 2016, this was probably the best budget iPhone compared to the 5S, and was a very popular budget phone, oh, of course, until September 2018 when Apple canceled manufacturing and sales of the phone. But later on, they did actually re-release, re, re and the fact that they um, sold off the remaining sales of the SE, which of course I got mine a while back, so I've had it for quite a while. So, but let's answer the question on, if you find the SE for cheap, either refurbished, used, or new on, let's say, a big marketplace like Amazon, eBay, or even an Apple store, whether or not it's still worth it. So with a 4-inch 1136 by 640 screen, let's see, let me open A to 64. So with a 4-inch 1136 by 640 screen, it wasn't not very big compared to the iPhone 6, compared to the 5S having an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera along with 1080p 60 FPS record capability. The SE outruns it with a 12, megapi 12 megapixel rear-facing camera with 4K capable video capture as I was pretty sure, oh, bring for, yeah, 4K says right there, 4K. You see it? That's 4K. If my camera will focus. Anyway, you get the point. So, trying to make this good before my camera battery fails. Battery-wise, the iPhone SE has about 13 hours of video playback and lasts about 10 days standby time. On standby. If you want Touch ID, especially on a budget phone like this, you're in luck as the SE has Touch ID sensor integrated into the home button, which is right there. Price-wise, the SE launched at a whopping price of $399 for the 16GB version, as Apple expected it to rapidly sell. But now you can pick up the 16GB version for around $150, and the, S and the 32GB version for around $200, which was $200 below its start price. The SE shipped with iOS 9.3, but so far it sports the latest, at least in the making of this video, iOS 12.1.4. So, overall, is the iPhone SE worth it over the 5S in 2019? Well, definitely. It may not be the most fastest phone out there today, but yes, for a budget phone, you definitely will have your money's well or spent. Well, this has been the Beastfire Gaming Review. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. If this is the first video you've seen by me, please consider subscribing to my channel get, or to help support it, as well as pressing that bell button to get all notifications on all my videos for more reviews like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.